What's up, Sky Watchers? What is up indeed? Nearly half of migratory species are in decline. I'm noticing. Are you? Atmospheric Lensing, A Weapon of Selective Destruction by Stephen J. Smith Introduction When it comes to war, America portrays itself as a nation of compassion. All too often, it is also a nation paralyzed by political division. Therefore, from the American political and military perspective, the best weapon system would not go bang or leave smoking holes in the ground to be photographed by news reporters. It would be a weapon of stealth, bringing silent death to the opponent, preferably without the adversary even knowing that they are under attack or what has caused their demise. The ideal weapon system would have both twin characteristics of being both very selective in its destructive powers and able to reach inside buildings or other structures without the need for physical intrusion that might be detected or worse from a political viewpoint publicized. If such a weapon were to exist, it would be prized above all others by the American government. Since it would serve the twin goals of compassionate war and avoidance by stealth if you think such a weapon system is science fiction, prepare for a shock, because it's already deployed and fully operational. The Optical Lens and Mirror It is the phenomena of refraction, along with geometric shape that allows a lens to focus light. It's called Cobra Dane, and it's known as an over-the-horizon radar. Built on the island of Shemya in Alaska, at Ericsson Air Station, first deployed in 1977 and using a 29 meter, 95 foot tall phased array antenna, this radar tracks ICBM launches inside Russia. Most people believe that radar, like light, is a line of sight phenomena. However, this is not always true. The Cobra Dane radar uses the top of Earth's atmosphere as a mirror to reflect its radar beam over the horizon and look deep inside of Russia. To accomplish this seeming feat of magic, first it focuses the radar beam at a spot in the atmosphere some 50 to 70 miles above the causing localized heating in the air. Radar is a microwave energy, after all. This spot then acts as a mirror because the heated air has a slightly different refractive index than the surrounding air. Every so often, the radar must reheat the atmosphere in order to sustain the mirror. The Cobra Dane radar was designed more than 30 years ago to peer thousands of miles over the horizon into hostile territory, building an atmospheric lens 20 to 30 miles up and 50 to 90 miles away from its intended target. Requires nothing even approaching the behemoth size of the Cobra Dane. Size was further reduced by the rapid advances in microwave and computer technology during the 80s and 90s. When taken together, these factors yield a weapon system no larger than a modern Doppler weather radar. Hmm. I contend this weapon system is already deployed around many American cities. In humans, sublethal atmospheric lensing produces symptoms not unlike radiation poisoning. These include, but are not limited to, loss of appetite, irregular or watery ball movements, headaches lasting for days, lethargic behavior, weakness in extremities, mental confusion, sleep disturbances. Full spectrum domination. That's what these dark controllers are after. All right, guys, we know that there are more than a thousand geoengineering operations taking place from cloud seeding to solar geoengineering, to more nefarious projects. Today, I'm talking about atmospheric lens. If you've seen my photos and videos, then you know what I'm talking about. As we watch the spraying of the sky, take notice of the trails high in the stratosphere. You will not hear these airplanes, but the trails will appear where clouds do not naturally form. And we get down to the troposphere, Head, leaving trails that ultimately cover the sky, stealing precious sunlight. And now if you're really paying attention, 
you will see these trails start forming frequency waves. This is because these trails have heavy metal particles and chemical compounds that allow them to be controlled by electromagnetic frequencies, electron beams, and radio waves, thusly forming an atmospheric lens to use as a tool for whatever program is currently in progress. All right, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you to all of you supporters who have bought me a coffee. I couldn't do it without you. Those of you who share this channel, it is greatly appreciated. Make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. So until next time, stay aware, be prepared, and keep looking up.